Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Vienna with Glitter Baddies Boutique. And for today's video, I'm gonna go over some different solution types. I always get asked why I use the solution I use. And I decided to go ahead and show you guys the most common solutions out there. There are many other mixtures and ratios that you can use, but these are the most common ones. And we're gonna go over them today. And I'll kind of go over each one step by step. So we're gonna start with a 24 ounce tumbler from Crafty Cup Source. You can use my code Vienna10 to save with them. I'm gonna be using a 516 drill bit. I'm only using one hole in each cup, by the way, just to kind of keep everything equal and the same. And I'll be using the same glitter in all of them, again, just to kind of keep everything equal. We're gonna be using Heavenly XL from It's Pretty Personal. It is a very fine, chunky mix. It is somewhat holographic but almost opal at the same time i thought it was a super pretty glitter for this video so that's why i chose it and each tumbler will have about the same amount of glitter i don't measure i kind of just pour with my heart but each of them got about the same amount so for this first tumbler we're going to start with just baby oil there's nothing else just plain baby oil i poured my glitter in and here i am filling up my tumbler with baby oil completely the nice thing with this solution is that you don't need to degas it. There's no degassing process. You will see some bubbles pop up here, which you see here in the video. You can kind of see them popping out there. I'm just gonna tap gently against the side of my cup to kind of get those out. You want that baby oil to kind of move through the glitter all the way at the bottom. And something that is super, super important when working with the baby oil specifically is you need to keep your surface clean. I seriously cannot stress that enough. I ended up having issues with this one, even though I was super careful. I had issues with sealing it after filming. I ended up having to redo the seal completely. It was a whole mess, but that's just something that's super common with this one and something that kind of steers me away from working with it too much. But I at least wanted to show you guys that this is an option if this is the flow that you're going for, which I'll show you guys the flow at the end. But anyways, continuing on, I did wash my hands a couple times during this process because I wanted to make sure all the oils were off my hands as well. It was so messy and hard to work with, but some people like it. And if you like it, you do you. I'm not going to tell you no, but that was something that was really hard with this one. It's not my first time doing it. I have used baby oil in the past for other videos, but just wanted to throw that out there. And to seal this one, because I had worked so hard on trying to keep it clean, I did not want to have any baby oil leaking out while sealing it. So I just grabbed a clear piece of packaging tape and my UV resin to seal that hole initially. I used a, my lighter to add a little bit of heat to pop some air bubbles and then I cured that. And we're gonna seal the rest of that later, but that is basically how you get that hole sealed up initially. And for the second tumbler, I'm gonna be using vegetable glycerin and distilled water, a 50-50 ratio. So one part vegetable glycerin, one part distilled water. I'm just pouring enough into a separate sauce bottle because I don't typically use this solution either. Kind of for the same reason as the baby oil, it tends to get kind of oily and messy and really hard to seal towards the end. That is just my personal experience with it. But you, again, you do you. I'm never gonna tell you guys, you have to do it my way. You do what's best for you. But continuing on, I filled my tumbler about three quarters of the way full and then I did this little temporary seal here with a paper towel and uh, painter's tape and took some time to really shake up that glitter and my solution. I even used my back massager to help get that glitter off the rim there. You do not want your glitter to get stuck there when you go to degas because with this one, I did let it degas for about 24 hours before sealing it. Some people don't, but I just felt like there was a lot of air bubbles in there and I wanted to make sure to get all of that out as much as possible. So after mixing my solution and glitter thoroughly, I went ahead and filled it up as much as possible, wiped down my surface, and then I let that degas overnight. And for this last tumbler, we are going with my classic solution that I use in all my videos on TikTok, unless noted otherwise, which is my one third Elmer's glue and two thirds distilled water. This one can get tricky when you're doing this portion here, when I'm trying to mix the glitter in the solution. It tends to get kind of chunky really quick. You know, the glue can dry if you do not mix it up thoroughly. So this step is super important when you're using this solution. That is again, just from my personal experience and my personal recommendation after doing these for so long but I do like this solution the best. It flows the slowest and 
overall it is probably the easiest to seal i never really had that many issues sealing this one especially after doing them a certain amount of times you kind of get a rhythm and i've gotten used to it i don't have issues with leaks anymore so i would like to think that that's probably because of the oil in the other two solutions but again i'm just letting you guys see the process for each one step by step anyways once you've gotten your glitter and your solution for this one mixed thoroughly you can go in and add the rest of your solution let that degas overnight and then the next day you will go back and refill your tumblers and for this tumbler the glue solution i did use the same sealing process for the vegetable glycerin one those two i do pretty much the same exact way refill until you are satisfied with how full it is and then i'm going to use a mini glue stick to plug my hole you're going to just plop that right in there and again just make sure your surface is clean and dry and then you're going to grab your uv resin and cure that you'll go ahead and leak test it and i wanted to show this portion because it is different from the baby oil one but you can do your seals however you like you can use whatever plugs you like this is just how i do them and side note my uv resin is from resin rockers in case y'all didn't catch that earlier all the vendors i'm using will be linked below as as well as the supplies so once i've leak tested these tumblers and ensure that there are no leaks coming out of that hole i'm going to go ahead and glitter the bottom just with uv resin and a matching glitter this one's just a silver holographic glitter apply some heat cure that and then optional step here is to add your care instructions if you have them if not you can just skip this portion and do a final seal for the final seal you kind of have options you can use either uv resin or you can even use one-to-one -one epoxy which i'm using here in this video and i did glitter all of the tumblers on the bottom the exact same way because personally i do all the bottoms on my tumblers the exact same way but you don't even have to glitter if you don't want to this is totally optional this is just an extra seal for my sake of mind i guess but if you are using regular epoxy then you're going to let that sit and cure for however long your epoxy needs to cure for every epoxy is different so make sure you read the instructions on yours or if you're using uv resin for the final seal then obviously cure that until it is fully done after all the seals are completely done here is the final result these are how they flow. This is the first one, the glycerin and water mix. You can see the solution is pretty flowy, not too fast, not too slow. It is pretty easy to shake up. It does fall a little bit faster, but not as fast as the baby oil one, which is this one right here. This is the baby oil one, the very first one you saw in the beginning of the video. Super easy to shake up, moves very, very fast. And then here is my classic solution that i use in all my videos very very slow not easy to mix up so it just depends on how easy you want that solution to be to mix up here's how they settle i noticed with the glycerin one it doesn't fully settle all the way it kind of settles in parts sometimes not everybody has that issue that's just what happened on this one same with the baby oil one but that's not necessarily a bad thing sometimes it's nice to see the glitter not all the way at the bottom personal preference i guess and here is my personal favorite, the glue and water mix. Very slow flow, takes a while to settle, but I hope this video was informational for you and it helps you make a decision on the solution that you wanna use on your snow globes. And as always, thank you guys so much for your support. If you haven't done so already, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button to get notified anytime a new video gets put up. And if you haven't already, also make sure y'all go follow me on TikTok for daily videos and tutorials. If y'all have any questions, make sure y'all drop them in the comment section below and I will talk to y'all soon. Thank you guys so much for watching.